Hello, Spinner94 here. Black Time 89. And today we're just doing a little vlog about our trip to Japan. Had a load of questions about it from people in the comments section and stuff like that. So I thought the best way just to be do a video in general. So uh, the basic plan is we're going to split these up into parts. Um, like part one, travel. Part two, like a certain location and stuff like that. Talk about that. Mix in some clips and some videos and stuff like that. So I think that's basically how we're just going to wing it from there. Oh yeah, and to be honest guys, Japan was absolutely really brilliant. I recommend going if you like like your gaming and your geek culture, but we'll get to more on that in more of the rest of the videos. Mm -hmm. So at the minute, we're just going to start off with like a basic one, obviously the flight there. Um, first time I've been on a plane in many years. I think the last time I was on a plane, I was quite young and I mean, yeah. six, seven, something daft like that. So it was quite an experience to go on a plane uh, from like uh, Newcastle to Dubai and Dubai to Japan. Um, yeah. Interesting experience on a plane, as I say, um, you'll see in a minute or two to whenever the clips decide to go like that um newcastle airport quite the variety of planes you've got like the little planes the big um what was what are we on airbuses yep yeah, airbuses they like the one for ireland and france i mean the big one you saw a little bit earlier in the photographs that was our plane and put it this way i have been on many flights i mean i've been traveling since i was six months old and i've been traveling a long time nearly 30 plus years actually it's over 30 plus years now and the emirates flight put it this way one, if not the best flight I've ever been on. Mm. So it was quite decked out. I mean, for economy class, it's like you get decent legroom. I was expecting to be in like sardines because that's what everyone was telling us. But you get decent legroom. And I say the TV at the back was interesting. Cause we ended up watching like live football and stuff, didn't yeah. we? And plus that as well, I mean, I've been on many flights. And to be honest with you, the economy class to me is similar to a first class in normal flights. So Emirates, they really know how to give you comfort on the flights yeah and I, i've heard the long haul ones are always better because obviously you're stuck on a plane for that long the only thing that was naff was the food the food was oh come on it's, steam, it's airplane steam crab that was on the way back and yeah. there it was beef in that which yeah. wasn't too bad but it oh, i just couldn't stomach anything yeah. my stomach was I mean, in shit on. steam crab who the hell serves steam crab posh on a flight? Pff, posh kits it's, well, uh, that's that's well, what it came across as me. Don't talk about posh kits. Yeah, hey, that, there's, that's the, a, there's the screen we had on the uh, back. There's a little screen I had on the back. There's like an inadvertent face reveal as well. But if you can tell stuff from that, you're like FBI or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know what I'm giving about Emirates? I mean, well, I've been in many flights, and many of the flights would have, you know, like one or two movies and a few like special channels. This, you had this football, you had sports, you had over like 500 movies to play with. I mean, for heaven's sakes, we had the whole Marvel and Star Wars collection. Yeah, I, I, that's that's how I got to Japan in one piece, Star Wars Marathon. And music, I mean, God, Lonnie Donegan, Lily the Pink, I was in, yeah, I was they, in heaven. Yeah, they had hits of every year, which is, that was kind of kick-ass. Yeah, it was quite nice listening to Lonnie Donegan at 40,000 seats until the turbines kicked in. It's like, oh, I've shit me pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not joking, guys. He's not joking. He really did. <laughs> but then when we got to Dubai... My God, that's a big airport. Yeah, Dubai's massive. You got you go through like a mega mall to get to your gate. It's the, the it's not an airport. It's a mall. Oh hell yeah! And when we had to get the bus to our airplane, Jesus, that was fucking ridiculous. And that was just oh my God! I was thinking, and to be honest, I was nearly ill. Mm, when we had our Afghan diplomat to talk to, he was he was a was, canny fella. That was a shock. We we actually were talking to a diplomat. I thought, yeah, what the heck? he was a quite a canny fella. He had pretty good English. Uh, well, what well, if? Well, he has to because yeah, a diplomat and all. Yeah. But it's like the diplomat passport's just a different colour. The normal one's green, and I believe the diplomatic one's blue, or it could be vice versa. But it yeah. was quite interesting looking at them. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. No, really, they're very similar. There's a really shit picture of um somewhere a little bit night. This was taken after the flight, so it's like I'm trying to get pictures and listen to those posh shits in front of us. Oh, don't. Oh don't God, I've got. No. Oh, I'm, we're going to have to reduce our staff to thirty. And what they call us Geordies, yeah, that yeah. really was not the best. Thing. It, was, it was the best one. Was we're going to have to reduce our staff to thirty. Oh, it's God. like oh you bastards just, I, ho I wish the yeah. I hope the the thing is it was like I hope the bus crashes and kills you all but <laughs> it's like I don't want the driver to die because the driver's a canny bloke yeah. <laughs> he's only doing it to feed his family yeah. and also we got the Pikachu um, yeah, popcorn the Pikachu popcorn as well yeah. so that was some it was, it was a good walk around the first day as well we found yeah. some interesting stuff oh, at least yeah. on the first day and also we found our local uh, the local bar we'll have some more pictures of that and the thing that was that was good that yeah but unfortunately this is where we're going to have the close here and we'll give you more in the next video probably yeah so yeah, we'll next part for our part here yeah, it'll be part two that'll sort of be part two and that'll be more talking about our first day there so that'll be Tokyo Tower Shrine Grounds and unfortunately crappy weather on the first day yeah. so anyway see you later guys bye